Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces for the uh, month of your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are, to, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about um, tell me about uh, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces and love? What's going on with Pisces and love for uh, November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces, for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces and love? What is going on with Pisces in love? Tell me about Pisces in love. Tell me about Pisces in love. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords. Hmm. I feel like you were dis I feel like you're you're disappointed in something here. That just didn't work out. Yeah. There's pain. There's hurt. There's anguish here. Uh, you know, I feel like there's a sense of holding on to hope that this can work out again. Uh, whatever this is, okay? Uh, this is yeah, I do feel like the situation that you're with the, uh, that you're in with someone here is incredibly stressful. Okay, this is interesting. You know, I feel like someone here might be realizing that they didn't really have a lot to give. You know, I feel like someone here is redirecting that energy and really taking care of themselves at this time here and really looking out for themselves, really looking out for their mental health here too. You know, I feel like you're dealing with a situation here that someone here doesn't really know quite know what they want what they're looking for the future is really unknown for this individual that you're dealing with here too perhaps you could be feeling this way here pisces like i said you could switch the roles if you want yeah someone here is unsure about a future here with you it kind of like stresses them out it just seems like you know because of this uh there's a situation that's just not working out or didn't work out here tell me about the ace of pentacles here why is the ace of pentacles here why is the ace of pentacles here Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Tell me the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. And the Death card here. So, yeah, something ended here. Something ended here. Uh, I, I feel like you were in a situation that someone here was just not giving you the attention that you're looking for. Okay? Someone here definitely held back. You and this person definitely have a strong soul tie here. Um, could be a twin flame if you guys are into the labels. If not, it's just a strong soul tie here. The Four of Wands. The Three of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like you guys might have had a strong bond here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, there was not a whole lot of progress between you and this person. You know, there, there was obstacles that was blocking this connection from moving forward. And they feel like there's like a frustration surrounding that. The Ten of Cups, we have the Empress, Libra, Taurus. Tell me the unknown. Why is the unknown here? And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I just feel like... So we have the Empress and the Knight of Wands here. I feel like this is a person that was that was unsure about this, and you were really darn sure about you know what you wanted. And it, it just seems like you realize that this person's just not meant to be with you. Yeah, not meant to be with you because I feel like this person was not ready to commit. Tell me more about Pisces, uh, the person that Pisces is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Pisces for November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces, for Pisces. With the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. <clears throat> we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and Temperance. Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Sagittarius, Energy here. 
And the Emperor Aries energy and the lovers. Okay. Well, seems like this person's uh, ready to step up to the plate now. Or that they will eventually step up to the plate and commit to you. Yeah, it seems like this person needs a little bit of space, but this person eventually will come back around to commit to you here. Yeah. You've been so patient with this individual, uh, 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 Pisces, you know? But I feel like this person's definitely trying to, you know, get their, the, get themselves back together here, you know? We have the universe and the page of swords, the ace of swords here, and the six of swords. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's definitely going through some sort of spiritual transformation, some major changes here, okay? Uh, yeah, I do feel like this upheaval or that this, this separation is actually doing this person really well. Um, you know, I feel like they're definitely introspecting, self-reflecting here. You know, I feel like this person's trying to like, you know, really stick with it, be disciplined about their healing, their personal growth and spiritual growth here. Um, Pisces, this person's coming back change. This person's coming back change. It's really up to you whether you want to take this on or not. Uh, because you already dealt with this person. You've already seen who they are as a person. You know? Yeah, we have the Three of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here. It, it, it's starting to become painful that this person's without you. They they want more than anything to work things out here with you. Yeah, they want more than anything to work things out with you. They want a new beginning here. Okay? Um, tell me more about Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on for November 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on? With the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands here and the Seven of Cups. This person is definitely going through a lot. They definitely have a lot of worries. They definitely have a lot of fear. They definitely have a lot of fears here. This person feels very stuck for some reason. Yeah, maybe really stuck in their head. Um, I also get the sense that, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles here, I just feel like this is an individual that's lacking a lot of focus. Yeah, I almost get the sense that this person is also very lazy here too. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands um, and the Seven of Cups here. You know, I feel like they, they want to persevere here with you. They want to overcome here with you. They want to, you know, pursue the same dreams or the dreams that you guys were talking about here, uh, 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 Pisces. Tell me the Seven of Cups here. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. I don't know. You know, it seems like this person is definitely going back and forth a little bit here too. I mean, they could be making a decision about this, you know? You know, sometimes that justice card about me is, is about making a decision and then cutting something out and pursuing that thing that's going to lead to your, you know, your fulfillment, your happiness, your success here. The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person's a bit of a loner here too. And the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot of you guys could be focusing on yourself. Yeah. A lot of you guys could be in this energy of like, just really, just, you know, I feel like you have empathy uh, and I feel like you care about this person. I feel like you feel for this person. But I, at the same time, you know, I feel like some of you guys might be in this energy of like not really fully giving your energy towards this person here. The King of Cups and the Four of Swords. The uh, King of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. I mean, we have some here that's definitely coming back. Change. This person's definitely focusing on their healing and their recovery here. Yeah. I mean, they don't definitely want to get back together. They definitely want to get back together. So, um, yeah, it seems like this person has changed. So, uh, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.